Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty and NCAA Football 2006. Today we've got the season opener for the Dayton Flyers as they host the 15th ranked Central Michigan Chippewas out of the Mid-America Conference. And they are really good. They have a great halfback, strong safety, and a quarterback. I'll see you guys down on the field after the guys make their predictions. As always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. And the rain looks like it's going to make things a little bit slippery out there for today's game between the Central Michigan Chippewas and the Flyers. It's been nonstop hard-hitting football so far early in the season, and we hope to continue that as the season goes on. And here come the Flyers. The Chippewas are pretty confident coming into this one, Kirk. It really doesn't appear to be much of a contest. Central Michigan is led by their running back. Now, I had a chance to talk to him about this game, and believe me, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. You're absolutely right. I'm going with my gut feeling. <laughs> all right, folks, you heard the coach's pick. Now let's head down to the field for the coin toss. So the guys aren't really giving the Flyers any kind of a chance today against the Chippewas. And here's the opening kickoff to the goal line. There is Harrell. Going to return this one up to the 20-yard line, taken down by Swanson. Let's see how this Flyers defense will perform as there is a zero-yard reception there. Third and 14, and they air it out, and it hits the grass out of bounds. Offense now on the field. Smash Jackson, the big halfback, getting a carry for the first down. And he is a load at the halfback spot. 5'11", 260 pounds. And there was a nice run by Dorian Wura, the quarterback, who won the starting quarterback position in the spring game, taking on Jared Martin, number 99. And Wura is actually sacked here, back at the 31-yard line. And there's a holding call. So that drive kind of ended poorly as they throw a pick on fourth down and Miller's gonna take this one all the way and that is not how the Flyers wanted to start this ball game. It's already seven nothing here in Dayton, Ohio. Smash Jackson getting the rock again. Nice stiff arm and gets it up past the 40 yard line. He's got 42 yards on three carries. Quarterback draw here, Dorian up the middle. Gets to the 46 yard line. He's a very electric runner. Once he gets out in the open field, and he gets sacked again here. Now you will see a lot of pressure up front against the Flyers. They do not have any offensive linemen. But, and there you go, there's another sack right there. That's the third of the game already for right end Williams. Third and 22, and he is sacked once again. And this is just unreal. Fourth and 29 for the Dayton Flyers. The Dayton offense looks like this. Dorian Wura at quarterback. Jared Martin is the backup. Wide receiver Amari Manuel. Two tight ends, James Skaggs and Trent Green as the Chippewas get another first down. And they've got Smash Jackson at the halfback spot. Peoples is sacked and that is the first career sack for defensive end Cash Harris. Peoples over the middle, caught by Sanders and he is close to the first down marker Luckily, he did not get it. That would have been insane. Deep ball down the field. Caught by Jenkins, the non-subscriber wide receiver. Dorian has a rocket for an arm, but he needs enough time in the pocket to actually throw the football. As he is sacked for the fifth time already here in the first half of this ball game. High snap. Dorian escapes the pocket and gets tracked down at the 50-yard line. Third down, pressured again and sacked back at the 40. The Central Michigan defense is nasty right now. Fourth and 17, Dayton's gonna punt the ball away yet again. They need something to get going in their favor as Henderson gets a nice catch over the middle for the first down pickup. Peoples, left-handed quarterback taking a shot and that is deflected away at the last second. How do you guys like these white helmets for Dayton? I think they look pretty slick. Dorian taking a shot deep, picked off. He had Wesley open and threw it a little late. 
And there's another turnover for the Dayton Flyers. And the defense for the Flyers looks like this. The leader, Rob Orlandi at middle linebacker who just got plowed over by the quarterback. My goodness. And they got Jermaine Price out at corner. Gloves Malone at cornerback. Cash Harris, defensive end. We saw him get a sack earlier. And defensive tackle, Tank Taylor. Peoples picked off by Barnes, the non-subscriber outside linebacker. And if Dayton wants to get back in this game, they need something to go their way on offense here as Smash Jackson fumbles the football and it is recovered by Central Michigan. So it's only 7-0, but the floodgates are about to be open as Mosley slides for that touchdown reception. 14-0, Chippewa is on top. Still looking for our first upset in this dynasty. As Gloves Malone returns this kick up to the 40-yard line. We've only seen two victories so far. And there's a nice throw downfield, but it is picked off. The receiver never looked back for it. Another unfortunate turnover. That is the fourth of the first half. And there is still three and a half minutes to go here in the second quarter. Peoples play action. Shot over the middle. Henderson's got it up towards midfield at the 48-yard line. Peoples passes deflected away, and I think that was Rob Orlandi on the deflection. Peoples over the middle. And what do you think is going to happen here, guys? Look at all these defenders around this guy. Yeah, you guessed it. It's a touchdown. Unreal. Central Michigan pouring it on here in the first half. 21-0 over the Dayton Flyers in their own stadium. Jared Martin seeing some playing time now. In his first play, he is sacked by Harvey. Second and 25, Smash Jackson fumbles the football again, and the slot receiver Jenkins would recover. Third and 21, Martin overthrows his intended target. He wanted Skaggs, the tight end. Finally see some running back for Central Michigan as Cotton gets the first down. Not a very big halfback, but he gets the job done. Breaking a couple tackles here, picks up 14 yards. Third and two, Peoples sacked. Finally, the Flyers get a stop on defense, and it was huge as Central Michigan is now pushed way back at the edge of their field goal range. Kick is up, and he probably could have made that from 70, so I don't know if they actually have a field goal range. The ensuing kickoff, deep downfield, back to return is Amari Manuel, and he muffs the kick. Gloves Malone has to return this, and he gets to the four-yard line. Terrible plays so far for the Dayton Flyers. But here's a nice run by Smash Jackson. Smash Jackson again up the gut. Past the 20 to the 21-yard line. Dayton has time for one more play. Deep ball caught by Amari Manuel. And he gets a block and he is gone. So the Flyers finally hit the board as Jared Martin gets his first career touchdown pass. And Amari Manuel gets his first career touchdown reception. And Smash Jackson punches it in for two points. It is now 24-8 to eight heading into the half. So only down two touchdowns with two-point conversions here. Plenty of time for Dayton. Jared Martin still in the game at quarterback. And Smash Jackson picks up six yards. Third and seven. Martin trying to roll out. Throws it out deep left side. Caught by Jackson. One of the wide receivers. He gets it up to midfield for the first down. Smash Jackson on another carry. He picks up six or seven. He's doing great on the ground today. 13 for 73 yards. Fullback wide open, and Martin misses by a mile. Fourth and three. Martin pressured. Wants to get it out to Green, and does. Trent Green with his first career reception inside the 30-yard line. Jared Martin, three of six now, over 100 yards, and a touchdown. And there is another touchdown to Jenkins. I'm not sure how Martin fit that pass in there, but that was pretty. In between three defenders, my goodness. Two of them jumped, one of them dove. And Dayton still comes away with that football. Smash Jackson, another two-point conversion, but he is stuffed this time. So the score is now 24-14. to 14. They're down 10 points. And there's a nice catch by Sanders on the out route. Play action from Peoples to Hall. Runs over Gloves Malone for the first down. 
Direct snap to Cotton, breaks a tackle, and Rob Orlandi brings him down at the 42-yard line. Nice open field tackle. Third and one, he gets popped in the backfield by Barnes, who's having a heck of a game at the right outside linebacker spot. And the Flyers get a stop on third down. The Central Michigan going for it, play action, and that is deflected away by Gloves Malone diving for the football. Martin still in the game, throws a pick. Harrell's got it, and he runs over Martin. Oh my goodness, touchdown Central Michigan, and they're being disrespectful to the goalpost now. Dorian Wura back in the game. Had uh, Jenkins wide open, decides to scramble for the first down, but does not get it. Smash Jackson would get the tough one-yard first down. Play action. We're going right side. Skaggs with a catch and the first down. Option play. Dorian up the middle, picks up eight yards. He just adds that second dimension of being able to run that Jared Martin does not provide. And here he goes again escaping and gets the first down, but he got popped at the end of that run. And it was all for nothing as there was a holding call. We're taking a shot, caught by Wesley somehow. Another floater finds its way to a Dayton Flyer receiver. Dorian gonna take off here, a lot of space in front of him and gets into the end zone for his first career rushing touchdown. And Dayton is not done yet, folks. They are not out of this one. 31-21 is the score. Peoples goes play action again, taking a deep shot, downfield, caught. And Cotton is down to the one yard line. Unbelievable pass, the halfback escapes out of the backfield and beats everybody. First and goal from the one, Peoples left side. Orlandi misses the tackle, so does Cummings, and Cotton high steps into the end zone for the touchdown. Central Michigan up 17 points again after a one yard touchdown pass. Dorian hit as he throws and completes the pass to Omari Manuel. Dorian gonna throw it again here. Manuel wide open, he's got it inside the 20, inside the 10 down to the eight yard line. A great tackle by the corner. Scrambling left side, can he make it in? And he dives for the pylon and gets the touchdown, his second rushing touchdown of the day. That brings the Flyers back within 10 points of the Chippewas. Looking for a big upset here. Chippewas ranked 15th in the country. Peoples breaks the sack attempt and passes it out to Cotton for the first down past midfield. What a play by Russ Peoples. Cotton taken down for no gain, but there is a personal foul face mask penalty on Williams. Second and seven. Chippewas to the air, and Rob Orlandi just missed out on an interception. That would have been the first of his career. And Rob Orlandi misses the tackle here, and Cotton takes it in for the touchdown. Chippewas continue to score. This Flyers defense has no answer for Peoples or Cotton. We're going to take off again. He'll get the first down with his legs and run out of bounds, avoiding contact. It's 45-28 here. Jackson out deep, got the first down and more can't break the tackle, but gets past the 35 yard line of Central Michigan. Wide open is Jackson and he's got it for the touchdown. That is the first career touchdown pass for Dorian Wura and that was actually Jenkins, not Jackson with a touchdown reception. And that was a pretty pass on the run. 45-35 is the score, people stuffed in the backfield. And that was Cash Harris once again. The tackle for a loss, his second of the game. Robert Landy misses another tackle there. Third and four. Flyers need a stop, and they won't get it as Orlandi misses a tackle, and so does the other safety. First down, Central Michigan. And this game is looking like it's out of reach here for the Flyers, especially after this run, as Cotton is going to take this one all the way for the touchdown. Chippewas now up over 50 points today. 52 to 35 as Dorian Wurra scrambles up the middle in the open space. What a juke move past midfield, past the 40 and down to the 32 yard line. A great run right up the gut for the quarterback on a pass play. It's gonna scramble out left side again here. Completes the pass to Wesley up to the 10 yard line. Dorian over 300 total yards for the day but he gets sacked here back at the 15 yard line. The time is running out. 
Dayton calls a timeout. They have no shot of winning this game, but they are still fighting hard against the 15th ranked team in the nation. And that pass is caught by Amari Manuel at the one yard line. I don't know how that pass was completed. Fourth and goal. Smash Jackson into the end zone, smashing his way through for his first career rushing touchdown. 52 to 42 is the score. Going for the onside kick here. And Dayton recovers it. It touched a Chippewa. So Dayton has a chance for one more play. And we have our first ever onside kick recovered in our dynasty. Last play of the game. Dorian pressured. Going to take a shot deep. And it is caught by Amari Manuel inside the 15-yard line. So just padding his stats a little bit. And the Flyers fall to the Chippewas 52-42 in their season and home opener here in our FCS dynasty in NCAA football 2006. It was a pretty good game. Just too many turnovers for Dayton. 619 yards of offense for the Flyers. That is unreal. My prediction for this game was Central Michigan winning 45-42, to so it was really close. Chippewas just scored one more touchdown than I thought. Dayton puts up 28 points in the fourth quarter. Just an offensive explosion. Martin, 4 of 9. Wurra, 10 of 23. One touchdown, three picks, but he had almost 300 passing yards. He was sacked seven times. And he still ended up with 90 yards rushing with two touchdowns. Jared Martin played pretty good today when he came in and filled in for Dorian. Smash Jackson had a good day. Amari Manuel over 200 receiving yards with one touchdown, a long of 77. Both tight ends had one catch today apiece, 16 yards for Skaggs and 17 for Trent Green. Manuel had a drop. A lot of sacks allowed today by this poor offensive line. Gloves Malone led the team in tackles with seven. Rob Orlandi only one tackle at that middle linebacker spot. Cash Harris, two tackles for a loss. One sack today for him. One interception, Antonio Barnes, the outside linebacker. Bunch of deflections today. No forced fumbles, no field goals. Gloves Malone, seven kick returns, 160 yards. Not a good average. Not a good average on punt returns either. But that is it for week two. Game three featuring the Dayton Flyers in their first ever game in this dynasty as they fall to the uh, Central Michigan Chippewas. Our next game will be out tomorrow. That'll be the fifth-ranked Colorado State Rams traveling to take on the North Dakota State Bison in the Fargo Dome. And our next Dayton Flyer game will be week three against the San Jose State Spartans from the WAC Football Conference. They are ranked 20th in the nation. I'm not sure if they'll be ranked 20th then. But I will see you guys tomorrow with some North Dakota State Bison football. Take it easy, guys.